trusted you. <laughs> I trusted you. You're so lazy, bro. I trusted you. You just disappointed me. Orc will be so mad at you for that. <laughs> hey, it's better than most of the things that Orc ever does. I trusted you. <laughs> you let me down. You know, Orc puts his heart and soul into those uh, little beep boops and boop yeah, bops. Yeah, I put my heart and soul into that. That was no, excellent. You just, suck your, you just suck your tongue out. <laughs> and with another disappointing opening, welcome everybody to the Too Soon Podcast, episode 14. I'm Trenton. This week I'm joined by Liam. That's me. And Trey. <sighs> and Hi. member of the Too Soon Crew Org will not be joining us this week, just like how Trey didn't join us the week before that. Because he's dead. So good. Because we're going through a transitional period where everybody will be missing at least one week, so that way you can realize what everybody brings to the table. No, he's it's lying. It's Me mostly because the it's same summer people. and people are doing stuff. Me and Nova are actually the same people. That That's true. I've never yeah, seen them in the turns. same room together. Exactly. So hey, and like and as you could, you could clearly tell away. that Oric wasn't here because I made the beautiful intro. It was gorgeous, I know. Please compliment me on Twitter, at Too no, Soon Podcast. Don't. <laughs> Please. So without Oric here, we're going to have to fill in uh, that Wyoming talk with something a little substantial this week. What do you guys think? He wasn't in Wyoming this week. Came back. Right. But, of course, regardless if he's in Wyoming or not, Wyoming must be mentioned. There we go. We mentioned Wyoming. (laughs) Congratulations. (laughs) Good guys. Good guys. Actually, I don't think Trey heard because he didn't listen to the episode he wasn't on, but we actually started calling Wyoming Wamong. Yeah, no, you started calling it Wamong. I didn't. <laughs> well, Wamong is a beautiful place. No, it it wasn't. All right, so so do you guys know what today is? As as of recording this, not as of listening to this for all you listeners. See, uh, I said listeners instead of viewers. Yeah, you, you mentioned it a July few times. 12th. So today is Net Neutrality Day, which is a very important day for us of the internet age because today is a day where the internet stands in solidarity against the FCC and their fucking retards. Um, yeah. And what's it called votes, not votes, but stands to show that we don't want net. We want net neutrality and we don't want. Fucking no, we people don't being, want it. Yeah, Please we don't want take it. our internet yeah, away. Take our internet. So I don't even need river. it. Quick question, Liam. So net neutrality day. Um, Was that a day before this year? No, it was so that's founded day? this year. Because of the stuff going on right now. Yeah, because of the appointment of the head of the FCC and all that fun stuff. He's got a big so, Reese's cup. So, so yeah. next year, if net neutrality, net neutrality is still a thing, we'll have it. We'll have the same day next year, right? Do I you mean, think? if if there's still a threat that there is uh, net neutrality will be going away, then I can imagine that there will be uh, another sort of thing where everybody just kind of spams the FCC and it's just like, hey. We want net neutrality. Don't be a fucking dick. <laughs> so, Liam, do you want to actually go into uh, go in depth on uh, in depth on what actually net neutrality is? So, net neutrality is more or less a way that uh, allows every i it doesn't allow ISPs, internet service providers, uh, it doesn't allow them to kind of throttle the internet towards certain websites so let's say you like watching your videos on youtube but you have you get your internet from comcast and comcast would prefer you watch your videos on vimeo or some other youtube thing i don't fucking care um so they prefer that so they slow down the internet going to youtube but if you want to go to vimeo it's fast so it will hurt youtube because they don't want youtube to be getting more traffic so net neutrality stops them from being able to do that, which in turn gets everybody to be on an equal playing field, which is right, so... essentially what capitalism is. <laughs> and it's more or so less like be... censorship and stuff like that. And people yeah, so don't like in, censorship. In, in layman's terms, it basically just means that everything on the internet won't be equal to each other. Yes, pretty much. And that will be bad for everybody on the internet, and the only people who would benefit are who, Liam? Uh, The rich people that run ISPs. (laughs) Yes. 
So that's bad. Yeah. So actually, yeah, of course, yeah, you by go now, to this website you gotta pay twenty dollars. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but what was I about to say? Yeah, I just remember now. So uh, as of today, uh, the twelfth that we're recording it. I'm sure by now all you people out there who are listening have probably on your computers or other devices have seen the pop-ups on some of your favorite websites yeah, and ads. Like it's mostly a, it's uh, battleforthenet.com. That's the big right. website that's run on this. Yeah, and the whole push, by the way, is just to basically get involved with your local politics and try to make sure that our represent, uh, the, rep- the, the, represent- uh, the representatives for your state or your area are fighting for a equal and free internet. And that's hot talk right now. Yeah. And we actually had this whole little actual same situation like what, two years ago. Yeah, wasn't that what, what was the thing? Was it SOPA? That was the big thing. SOPA, that, yeah. yeah. I was trying to fight this stuff. Yeah, yeah this I'm, one I'm I believe is called. Of, uh, I'm going through the list of like main sites and big places that are supporting this, and it's pretty. It's a pretty extensive list. You know, Amazon's on here, Netflix, uh, po- Twitter, Pornhub. Pornhub is on here. <laughs> reddit's all about it uh all the ad block stuff uh all the ad block stuff which makes me happy (laughs) but it's just like you see all of these like random uh websites that you would never see coming together for uh just one cause like everything is coming together so you said it was called sopa right last uh like yeah a couple years years ago ago. oh that's funny my mom uh, made sopa (laughs) Did you really? <laughs> yeah, it's a Mexican food. Oh, it's like okay. a Mexican soup. Well, isn't sopa soup in Mex in Spanish? Mexican. <laughs> she just calls it sopa. Oh, okay. Well, all those businesses that are standing up together for it are actually um, all of their businesses were are at stake for that though. Yeah. So if... I mean, they could all literally go out of business because of this. Mm-hmm. And it's it's very upsetting that this is actually a, a question which is fucking dumb but you mentioned reddit is supporting it right yeah so are you referring to the community of reddit or no the reddit? company reddit like the actual hmm. like people behind reddit right because their name is on that list right yeah interesting so i i imagine though because of the amount of of people getting together about this so quickly. Oh, yeah, it's I can probably, imagine it's, it's a publicity thing to fo- to get on board with this, but it, it does affect them. So, I well, what I meant to I say is, I don't, I, I don't think this is gonna, I don't think neutrality will go away this time. Oh no way! Yeah, yeah, I, they're gonna, it's gonna happen. If it ever does happen, it's gonna happen because nobody's talking about it. And if as soon as it gets swept under the rug and it gets passed with something else, then nobody's gonna realize. Yeah, and then if something, uh, and if ever did happen, it, and people are talking about it, that means something very illegal and shady happened, and oh, yeah. that will lead to a major fucking issue. I mean, look at the news now. Like everyone's talking about the G twenty stuff. Everyone's talking about uh, Donald Trump Jr. colluding with the Russians, quote unquote. Um, but like, you see all this like crazy shit is happening for like no reason, and it makes sense that it's all happening around July twelfth. So that nobody like recognizes that's net neutrality day. You don't see on CNN on Fox that net neutrality day is happening because these are companies that are not they're not yeah, going to be hurt by what, it, but they're not going to benefit. Which company owns Comcast again? Which which news company uh, is it? CNN. Fuck, I don't know. Uh, I One think AT and T does. While we can. Here, I'm looking it up right now. No, AT and T has no affiliation with Comcast. I thought somebody. But no, yeah. Uh, no, but but a major news company owns Comcast, and then Comcast owns obviously Xfinity Internet. Yeah, oh. I think it's the I think is it MSNBC NBC owns NBC. Com- I don't, it's NBC Universal. NBC, yeah, they own Comcast. No, I think NBC is underneath Comcast. Whichever one is associated with Universal also owns Comcast because you see Comcast because uh, because you see Universal on Comcast yeah. uh, bus fans. Mm-hmm. There's your connection. Yeah, it's NBC. <laughs> yeah, that's why I thought. It was also one of those Mundo. people. <laughs> my mom used to watch it. Well, whenever, <laughs> speaking of Telemundo, every time I would go to my grandparents' house, because on my, on, my, uh, on my dad's side of the family, uh, it's, it's Puerto Rican, so both my grandparents are native Spanish speakers, and Spanish is their first language. Every time I go to their house, they would have Telemundo on, and they would have all the Spanish channels on, and I remember watching basically what was like uh, like Judge Judy 
but the Spanish version <laughs> and never being able to follow the cases, but still be interested. Cause like people are angry and yeah, yelling at each other. Each and other. It, it's just like, <laughs> Hmm, I feel like that person I'm, I'm on their side. <laughs> yeah. But back oh, to no. the more important thing. Uh, it doesn't matter if that it isn't uh net neutrality day, make sure to make your voice heard. Tell the FCC, tell your local representative, tell anybody who would give a shit, um, tell them net neutrality needs to stay and don't uh, make, uh, internet yeah, service sh- providers sh- a title one uh and, sh- and share some videos too like uh, the yeah, favorite content creators yeah, talking about it share there's a lot of videos out there today because a lot of uh, i bet you if you go to the youtube trending right now there's at least one or two mm. but yes that is my spiel about net neutrality please don't ruin it for the rest of us <laughs> yeah because once the internet goes there goes like all of my entertainment yep i'm yeah. fucked and we like are. How many internet. websites do you think they would block? Like big. It's not about blocking. Block. It's all about making the you. It's all about making the users like uh, encourage individual users to go to particular websites. Yeah, I'm like pretty a, sure like, they would be able to block websites as well, though. It would. It would be. Well, it wouldn't see, necessarily be blocking, but it'd it would be blocking. It would never be able <laughs> to fully to block anything because that would be technically, yeah, technically illegal. That's illegal, right? Because uh, because at the moment. Uh, internet is considered utility, but obviously, if the net neutrality thing was to go away, then it would be considered ut- utility. But still, if you're paying monthly to an internet service provider to have access to the internet, and the and, and you're paying for internet access, that means everything on the internet. But there's nothing saying mm-hmm. that everything on the internet has to work the same, except the rules right now. The rules in place right now make sure it's that way. Yes. So, so ISP so, couldn't like block a website. Like, no, because no, no, because that'd be illegal. Internet. The only, the only thing, the only websites they can block are websites that are uh, doing illegal activity. Yep, like oh, the deep web and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I, I actually you... just looked it up on YouTube. If you go to the trending tab, there's literally a button that just says net neutrality. So if you click that, you get all the videos that are coming out by all these major things. Even Stephen Colbert did a thing on net neutrality. <laughs> He's a smart man. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you but get. Speaking on it. of communities and coming together. There's something that Trey has been doing lately that has involved a lot of coming together. Trey, what have you been doing? I don't know. What have I been doing? <laughs> oh, he, he'll he'll understand in a second. Trey has actually been kind of rekindling an old passion of his lately using the power of Reddit. Trey, what have you been rekindling I don't know. using an old passion <laughs> what of Reddit? have I been doing? <laughs> You've been playing Monster Hunter on your 3DS. Oh! <laughs> and you've actually met some people through reddit right to play with yeah just yeah <laughs> i was I bored was, so i was wondering if like people still played it so uh i just looked on reddit saw somebody made a post what and what what, what, what is the subreddit r slash uh, monster just, hunter yeah <laughs> slash r monster hunter r, okay i got you so so you joined what a public discord server or like a private one that like someone made just for his group of friends uh i'm not sure honestly i just Somebody so said, hey, if it you was, want to come play with us, you know, here's the link. It's not my server, but it's a friend of mine's. So it wasn't the official, like, uh, Monster Hunter Discord, right? No. Because most know. popular gaming subreddits have an official Discord server, which are usually very extremely populated with people. Like, Overwatch has, like, one of the most populated Discord servers there are. Even PUBG has a very massive one, too. Hmm. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what it's like playing Monster Hunter with people you didn't know? Because you've only ever played Monster Hunter Co-op with friends who've owned the game before, right? Pretty much, or solo. So tell us a little bit about that, Trey. I'm curious, because like, we all might be playing Monster Hunter when it comes out for PC. What, what was it, Monster Hunter World, right? Yeah. Is that the title? Yeah, so give us a little of, uh, bit of insight of what we could expect from your experience with Monster Hunter lately with some new people. Um, It's a lot easier. It, like... So you have a level cap, and once you get far enough, you can break that level cap. So I think when you break it is around HR 7, and HR is hunter rank. And after that, things get a little easier because it's a lot better to get higher rank gear. But most of the time, Monster Hunter is just grinding. I mean, that's mainly what it is. Hunting the same monsters to get certain gear sets, hunting different monsters, because a lot of gears require different monster materials i mean that's really how monster hunter is and i just enjoy hunting stuff so when you have other people to play with you it makes it a lot easier you know what i mean 
Like, Monster Hunter was never meant to be a solo game. Like, in, uh, in Japan, out of all the games that came out, like Zelda, you know, Mario Kart, ARMS, Monster Hunter Double Cross is the highest bot, bot game in Japan. It hasn't come in the U.S. yet, but... And that's a Switch game? Yeah, no, it's coming to Switch in August in Japan, but it's already out on 3DS. So, I won't be able to get the game on my Switch unless I've imported it from Japan and played a Japanese version. Pretty much. Oh, but I'm guessing there's no English subtitles in that? No, but, I mean, you don't really need it. I mean... Can you at least make the menus English? Nah, not exactly, but... (laughs) No, totally. (laughs) There's a lot of stuff I feel like you might not even need to read. Because they show you pictures of you know, the monster you need to hunt. And, I mean, I guess the only thing is, like, gear. Like, the uh, skills for it. That'd probably be it. I don't know. Probably the monster material, too. So, I wouldn't do it. i just wait till the English came out. Yeah, yeah I'm probably going to wait for the PC game. Yeah, was that, was the PC game is fun. I really want I'll play the fuck out of it if it's on PC. Oh, yeah. That's probably what yeah, I'm, I'm actually I'm, try, I'm, I'm trying to chill year. out on buying games actually. So after the Steam Summer Sale, I didn't really buy any games off the Steam Yeah, I didn't really see like any that I really liked on the Summer Sale. I bought like two. I bought a uh, Bolivian, and I bought something else, but I forgot what it was called. I bought a bunch of games. <laughs> Jeez, Liam. Oh yeah, I've, <laughs> I I've couldn't control Liam. myself. I've been seeing Liam playing like uh, Shadow of Mordor. Well, he that got was like that. what five bucks for the yeah dogs, Shadow of Mordor. Everything? You got all the DLC for five bucks. Yeah. So I was like, I can't well, stop I, myself. I got the game on sale back like the same like year it came out for like thirty bucks, and I played like a good like I want to say like ten fifteen hours of it, and then I got bored. So yeah, I only beat the like main story, but the DLC seemed fun. But I got Shadow of Mordor, I got uh, Wolfenstein, I got Forts, I got uh, Aragami. I don't even know what the fuck that game is. Uh, actually, I do know. It's fun. It's like a stealth game where you you like. If you go in the shadows, you're invisible, and it's very fun. Mm. Um, and then it's like it's like a cool like Asian inspired type deal. It's very fun. Uh, and then I got we need to go deeper and seven days to die and city skylines, and the Force Unleashed series. That's a fun game. But city oh, skylines, I, I played a fucking lot of. <laughs> I played those last year. I replayed the first one last year in my live stream. Yeah, that was pretty fun. I'm having a hard I'd time ne- with the controls, but other than that, it's pretty fun. Are you playing on a keyboard? Uh, I've switched back and forth. Oh, I wouldn't want to play that game on keyboard. Uh, the second game I eventually played the years after I played the first one, and I did not like the second one very much. Really? I, like I the heard the second one. Yeah. Second one. Uh, gameplay wise, in some parts it's better, but I just didn't like where because like, uh, I'm not sure if you're if if you guys remember when the Force Unleashed came out, but when it came out, this was before Disney bought Star Wars. This was many, not many, yeah, but this so was like quite a few years canon. before. <laughs> Right, but uh, not every single Star Wars game or Star Wars anything that came out before Disney bought Star Wars was canon. Only some things were canon. Yeah. But George Lucas himself came out when Star Wars: The Force Unleashed was announced and becoming a thing. It's like this fool. Th- this is a game that bridges the gap between Episode Three and Episode Four, and the events here are considered canon. And I really, really like the story of Force Unleashed, and I really like the main character and how he connects. But of course, with the Disney Act. Activ- the, the Disney acquisition, he's no longer canon. His story's no longer canon. But the weird I, thing is, though, way hmm, what's up? I mean, they uh, Disney has been adding a lot of things from Legends, which is pre canon right. stuff. They've yeah, been adding a Disney, lot of Disney stuff never back. said that all the all the Legend stuff would never become canon. They just said all the existing like media stuff, like all the books and stuff, don't yeah, that consider Disney. that real. But we can still use stuff from it. Yeah. Like, which but is appreciated. the one thing that hurts me that isn't canon is the whole Dark Plagueis stuff. I loved Dark Plagueis. He was so fucking well, cool. Darth Plagueis is still a canon character. I know, but like the, his story is not told yet, so you don't know if they're gonna keep Dark like the whole like he can uh, what's it called manipulate midichlorians and he created Anakin and all that stuff. Well, but, that's still pretty much all. Most, I mean, it's not technically canon because the details themselves are in the book. That is not canon technically, but Darth Plagueis' character is canon. And then what his, was his, his, the one game um, that got dropped when LucasArts closed? The Boba Fett game, thirteen thirteen. Was it a Boba? Or the Bounty Hunter game? Was it was it a Bounty Fett? Hunter game. 
It was Bounty Hunter. I'm not sure if it was Boba Fett, but it was a Bounty Hunter game called 1313 that mm-hmm. got dropped, and everybody was super hyped for it. But uh, no, with Darth with Darth Plague is still in his story. He he his name is mentioned specifically yeah, he, in Episode Three, so so he exists, yeah. and his character was only mentioned because the fact that everything that happened in that book was was considered canon. So really, in, it, like, there's no way for his character, like, there's no point of his character even being mentioned in Episode Three without those events happening. So well, for his his, his he, uh, he was mentioned in Episode Three well before the Disney acquisition, so it's not like that right. could have been. And but no, all, but, but, all the but, books then were all canon. Yeah, and the but the Disney acquisition though doesn't can't not affect anything with the movies. So for all intents and purposes, yeah, that book itself isn't canon, but you can just basically consider that chain of events mostly if mostly what happened. Yeah, you can consider what like the the bulk of what happened with like the end of Plagueis, with what's called uh, Sidious killing him and all that stuff. And but you can't really like you can't it, it's not like pinpoint accuracy that he did he could manipulate midichlorians and he could do this like because P- palpatine is essentially saying it's just a story so it's it could go either way they could do whatever do the fuck they want with it at this point do it <laughs> that's one of my favorite fucking videos speaking of uh star wars though me and trey saw spider-man today and we're not going to get into spider-man <laughs> stuff though, but <laughs> what wait speaking of star I said, wars Spider-Man. no wait well, let me actually explain. I mean, they're so, both owned by Disney, right? Right, but there was a trailer we saw before uh, the Spider-Man movie that had Adam Driver in it, who plays Kylo Ren. I don't and really Adam like Driver it. has been in a ton of movies since uh, uh, since he's become uh, more famous from Star Wars. He's a very good actor. But I forgot the name of the movie, but it has the guy who plays uh, Daniel Craig, Adam Driver, Channing Tatum, uh, some other like pretty... Like Lucky uh, pre- or something like that? Some other pretty yeah, like it, the movie's called like Lucky Something. Uh, we have I don't have really any clarity what it's about, but it was a really crazy trailer. And uh, Adam Driver's character from the trailer it was a one armed rednecked uh bartender. <laughs> interesting. And Channing and Channing Tatum is his brother, so double interesting. So, so I so here thinking of Star Wars, maybe think of Adam Driver and then uh and then him because actually Kylo Ren is one of my favorite Star Wars characters and he's my favorite part of The Force Awakens I feel like he's kind of whiny but I feel oh, like oh I love how whiny he is <laughs> it's so annoying <laughs> but I feel like as he gets fleshed out because he's going to be the main villain for the next three movies so two but yeah, yeah. I'm sorry two you're right you right um, like I like what really solidified me of him is like uh, the very end of episode seven where he's fighting Ray in the snow and he's bleeding. He's just smacking his wound. He's like, Ugh! he's just like, yeah, baby. oh man, you 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 hurt and I know it. <laughs> Why would you do that? Yeah, because he's a fucking crazy person. He just he was a crazy dad. person. Just make uh, it worse. <laughs> he just he just, he murdered his dad and a bear shot him with a crossbow. He's having a bad day. A bear. <laughs> <laughs> Good old. I love. I love the bear race of uh, whatever the fuck Wookiees are from. Wookiees. <laughs> yeah, Wookiees are Wookiees, and their planet the is Kashyyyk. Kashyyyk, that's where Wookiees are from. Do you know mm-hmm. Ewoks are just Wookiees backwards, and they're just small Wookiees? Like, <laughs> how fucking lazy do you get? <laughs> yeah, and, and, they, and they made them just for merchandising. Yeah, just for merchandising, and then that one scene on Endor. They're not one scene, I mean, but... look how it turned out. Yeah. I mean, our... Ewoks like great characters though. <laughs> Return of the Jedi was actually the first step in the wrong direction for Star Wars. A lot of people think the whole trilogy is the whole the whole OG trilogy is amazing. For the most part, yeah, but Return of the Jedi is the worst of those three films. No, I love and... Return of the Jedi. No, but when you really go back and look at the full details of Return of the Jedi, it's still an overall solid movie, but you can tell like compared to the first two, it's like, man, they really would just kinda wanted to just set up a easy to tell, hap- like mostly happy ending uh have some new characters in there and sell toys and like plenty of people who worked on those movies really ha- have admitted that that the return of the jedi is some of their least favorite movies and the, the the movie originally was supposed to be called revenge of the jedi no no it was originally supposed to be called return of the jedi then no revenge no, no it, 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 then somebody told lucas that return sounds too weak and revenge should be the name and then R- lucas like at the last minute was like no fuck this i want it to be return it's from lucas himself so <laughs> well i mean i think revenge of the jedi would have been a bad name anyways yeah revenge would have been a shitty name but overall like 
that movie kind of just starts i like when i when i start looking back at, at return or at jedi i guess is the easier way to say it uh it just it that's it, it kind of it kind of makes a lot of sense to see that movie go from uh see the see the franchise go from that one to phantom menace like that it's not oh, that yeah, big no, of a they gap set up a good like thing to get to the prequels but i, I wouldn't say it was a bad movie or like a beginning of the a down I, I don't think no, I don't think it's a bad also, movie. Also, I wouldn't I, say that the prequels aren't are like bad movies. I thoroughly enjoy them. Like I watched them recently, and I still think they're decent I, movies. Hmm. I feel they were all right. I mean, I kind of didn't. Care. I like them because they have Star Wars stuff in them, but I think they're not great movies. I don't. I get bored to watch. I know. I mean, I don't get completely bored because it has Star Wars stuff in it, but I, I don't care about the actual like events the only things i care about when i watch the prequels is like i care about obi-wan i care about anakin to a degree because he's darth vader um uh, and i mean i know i know a lot of stuff about the prequels and i like and i like that era i like the world but the actual individual films of self watching them i don't have much motivation to go back and watch them i will sometimes go back and watch Re- um return of the sith or revenge of the sith um yeah. for some parts but eh, i've eh, i don't know i don't know i enjoyed it <laughs> I like the movies. No, I mean, I, I I grew up with those movies, so I still have a appreciation for them. But no, as as actual just films, I don't think they're amazing films. I think they are. They can have some good moments at times, All right. but they annoy I, me. I can I can agree with that, but I still like them overall. I pre- I like them. I don't prefer them over the original trilogy, but I still like the movies. But by the way, I did like Star uh Star Wars Spider Man a lot though. I'm not, I don't like I mentioned earlier. I don't want to go into any details yeah, about Spider-Man. Don't, don't spoiler it. It's it not a Spider-Man really cast, been, but it's been out for really like funny. two days. So yeah, but it was like just if you like Spider-Man, I'll go see it. Uh, it's probably my it's probably the funniest MCU movie to date, in my opinion. Like the comedy was like a big factor in it for me. It kept me laughing literally the whole movie. So even probably at times when it wasn't supposed to. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> cried. From laughter. No, he just cried. Yeah, because Aunt May was so hot. He kind of got he got up from his seat, balled up in the corner, and just kind of started crying. Well, what are you, bitch? Spider Man. It's not the first. I'm a chubby Spider Man. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. So, anything else you want to say about Spider Man? <laughs> Uh, Star Wars is in I that think too. Tom Holland so and far that's not, has been uh, the best adaptation of Spider Man. How dare you say that about my dear Tobey Maguire? Look, I got nothing wrong with Tobey, but Tobey's the best Spider Man. To- nah. to- Tobey <laughs> rode horses, bro. Tom Holland. That that's saying something because Tobey was Holland, the greatest. Tom Holland's pretty pr- pretty uh, he got abs. I don't give a shit if he has abs. He's pretty good Spider Man. He's <laughs> is he Peter Parker? He's pretty good. It's pretty abs. Pretty abs. Pretty abs. So, th- so is that Liam. how you judge a man just by his abs? That's uh, superficial. His his his, his, his ass abs. too, but you're a piece of shit. <laughs> but Liam, as I mentioned last week, your girlfriend listens to the show, right? Yes. She's and she listened to the last. Right she... <laughs> oh, that's nice. So I, I gotta, I gotta ask though, uh, did she talk to you at all after the end of last week's episode? Whenever we did her a little, uh, little talking to her to her ear holes, no, <laughs> no, she never gives you any feedback on the episodes. She usually does, but I didn't remember the feedback from last week. <laughs> and, you and you don't take any of it to heart. I take all of it to heart. I cry every night. Do you really though? All the time. Nice. I'm, I'm a, I'm a cry man. You gotta cry right now. I'm gonna <laughs> cry right now, you fucking bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'll fucking do it. <laughs> I dare you. No I balls. Fuck. Pussy. I bet you won't cry. So, you guys both know a friend of mine at Oryx, uh, Mallow, right? No, I, I thought you were saying Oryx was a friend of yours. I'm like, yes, I do know him. He's on the podcast every <laughs> once in a while. No, That's I was saying, you know, Mallow. You both know Mallow, right? You both have played games with Mallow, uh, who's You're also known as Tristan. Jimothy Leary. Jimothy <laughs> Leary, who's, whose real name is Tristan. Don't, don't give uh, away his name. Mine and Oryx. Didn't we friends, learn from uh, this already? <laughs> n- yes. 
But uh, but Tristan though, or Mallow, which is his G tag, his gamer tag, he actually before we came onto this podcast and he introduced me to something that seems pretty interesting, a Minecraft server. But this is one of the most interesting Minecraft Minecraft. servers I was ever on. Minecraft is the best game in the world, obviously. Yeah, clearly. If you don't play Minecraft, what the fuck's wrong with you? It was a Pokemon Minecraft server, but it wasn't a Pixelmon, that really popular mod. It was actually something way more interesting. It is basically just straight up the Pokemon RPG, but it has elements of Pokemon Go thrown in, all in Minecraft. It was really weird. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I and I what? might actually and I might actually go and play some more of it after we finish the podcast with with Mallow. Do you flick Pokeballs at? <laughs> no. Pokemon? So, basically, your character, uh, your trainer. It's just like any standard Pokemon game. You start off, you pick your world, uh, then you. Choose your starter, uh, Charmander, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and then you go and start straight up battling. It's, it's got real, it's got real battling and everything. It's got the RPG elements, it's got Pokeballs, Pokemon Centers, all that. But there's Pokestops and the gyms. There's no traditional Pokemon gyms. There's straight up Pokemon Go gyms, where you leave your Pokemon at gyms if you beat the gym, and then you hold the gym. So, I don't think I like that's that. the one thing I didn't like about Pokemon Go. Like, yeah. that, that was a very like bad. I thought that was a uh, pretty dumb. But now it's in Minecraft though, so you can actually well, do other things besides flick the bean. Yeah. <laughs> Minecraft isn't a dumb game. It's just an overpopular, overhyped game that lost it everything. You have played a lot of Minecraft in your day. You know what? We should do a Minecraft. I will like, not lie. Maybe. I played a fuck ton of minecraft uh, a memories of minecraft style episode one day because like we've done that for halo almost a few times well, yeah, but we, don't minecraft. Have, we don't have enough material to talk about minecraft for an hour no we do well at least me and orc do we can go on about all our adventures well, in minecraft who wants, and, no, yeah, if who like wants to hear about... your adventures of minecraft yeah it's like that's kind of lame you, once you hear one story it's the same thing it's like oh yeah i so found I the black down, diamonds i dug down i got all the way and then i just dug for miles <laughs> <laughs> I hit lava. And I hit lava and died. Yeah. Is that every story in Minecraft? Yeah, that's all yeah, my stories. Every story. Man, you never uh you never join any good servers. No, you're just no. lame. Yeah, usually servers suck. This podcast should be dedicated to how lame you are. Yeah, Trenton is lame. Oh, so I just thought about something. Who's gonna do the title and description of this episode? I was or still, still do it. <laughs> hmm. he's not allowed well, to listen to it but <laughs> he has to guess the title yeah well maybe well maybe liam should write down at least some general things we talked about so don't he can maybe it, write about it don't do it oh don't worry i've been Good. really i don't believe you i'll send you a picture right now i don't i don't want a picture i don't i don't need your proof <laughs> all right fuck you it's cool because last week fucking i had to do the link dump because somebody wasn't here and uh apparently trenton didn't even see it and didn't put it in the youtube description because he's a he never does yeah no he's the worst um well i did do yeah. a lot of other stuff so yeah, i've gotten yeah, into the habit whatever. of just writing shit he's just lazy happens, writing stuff down on a post-it note and then having that yeah lazy just in case Oh yeah, and I just thought, I, I want to mention this earlier, but uh, whatever this this works now. So a few weeks ago, we talked about my Twitch channel, how it was uh, up for affiliate, and I was doing stuff for it. But that did happen, by the way. And now he's a we, big boy. Yeah, we we did get the process for uh, Twitch affiliate to go through, so you can subscribe to the Tigazel four two three Twitch channel. Probably nah, should are. nah, don't be doing it on this yeah, podcast. Should, Do it yeah. somewhere else. <laughs> There are emotes and stuff, but I just want to get people up to that. Do not that, that hoard yourself happen. out on my Don't podcast. be doing it on this podcast. You better push the link in the link dump. That's it. Yeah, I'll, I'll link you. That's it. But no, these boys have been there. At least Liam has. I'm always there. We've been streaming more. What, what was the last thing I did, Liam? You were there for a little bit. Well, I wasn't there for the second time. I was only there for the first time. But you're playing Pokemon. I'm doing a Nuzlocke challenge, my second attempt at fire red Nuzlocke. toys because all I did was spam Witwix emotes. <laughs> yeah, I, I did Charmander my first time through it with Nuzlocke, so I was like, you know what, let's try it with a different Pokemon. And, and also, if you guys watch GDQ? RNG. I did. No. I watched a whole lot of it. What's your favorite I, ones? 
I mean, I'm a, I'm a classic boy. I like the Metroidvania runs because they're just like very technical. But then I always like finding runs that are just super glitched and they're fun. I think mine was the DK run. I, I didn't watch any of the DK runs. It was pretty good. I always like the old PlayStation Block stuff. So hmm. for those who don't know, an event, uh, SGDQ, Summer Games Done Quick, happened this uh, week, this past week. And, for charity uh, yeah it's a charity live stream where they it's a whole bunch of speedrunners get together and they just live stream a shit ton of games and i think they raised over 1.75 million dollars for charity for doctors without and, borders yeah that was yes. more than last year yeah the was, summer the, the yeah. summer uh summer games on quick is always doctors doctors without borders i believe yeah, yeah I, I think both of them are some, doctors without borders Mm-mm. the or other no, one's usually st jude's prevent Car- no it's prevent cancer society not no, well, I, I think they've done St. Jude's at some point. Yeah, they probably did. The one yeah. I really wanted to see was the Earthbound. Yeah, I, I caught the beginning and the end of it. Yeah, I like how they changed the name at the last minute. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Iwuda, how, or Iwuda, how long, however you want to pronounce it. How long is... um? Earthbound speedrun is the, yeah. three hours, maybe four hours. I think the longest one there was the uh, Final Fantasy speedrun. Yeah. Which is like which, eight. Which one? Final Fantasy VII. Oh. Yeah. yeah but well, I, there, there was I a love... Kingdom Hearts run this year, right? Yep. I watched yes. that. Was it two? Yeah, it was two. The final mix, I think it's Did called. they ever get the uh, initiative for uh, Sephiroth level one? I think so. I think I watched oh, what, that. For, for, for Kingdom Hearts? Yeah. Yeah. Which is, wait, so uh, Sephiroth level one and Kingdom Hearts one or two? Huh? And Kingdom Hearts one or two? Two. I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, those are my yeah. favorite seed runs to watch for Kingdom Hearts ones because I I like uh the Dark Souls that that was a fun one to watch. I heard that well, one they, was good. Well, I didn't see well, it. The, well, they did my the DLC favorite, for uh, that, right? Mm, yeah, I think so. One of my favorite runners, Bubbles Del Fuego, did that, and I fucking love that man. You can always go check the vods. The oh yeah, the, all the vods are on their YouTube channel, uh, Speed Demos Archive. Yeah, I, I might watch it. maybe some of those because I do like kind of catching runs here and there um but i don't know the, there's just so much crap that happens just in the middle of the day when i'm at work it's just like there's no way i can watch these runs <laughs> there's always a lot of cringy moments too oh my god there was one run the uh, mirror's edge run where the <laughs> one of the guys on the couch was heckling the I, uh the runner the entire that. time because it was a glitchless run but he kept doing exploits and he's like that that's a glitch that's a glitch but apparently it was all staged but it was it was really funny. Once once you realize that it was staged, it was really funny. Uh, but until that moment, it's like, yo, why the fuck is he on the couch? It's fucked up. Jeez. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a. I think it was a. Uh, not, it wasn't an announcer, but it was one of the people that did the interviews. Yeah. And it was the the lady, I think. If you know who I'm referring to. Yeah, I know who you're referring to. <laughs> yeah, for like a minute, I couldn't figure out. I was like, is that? an actual lady <laughs> yeah she was not uh very ladylike let's just yeah. i'll just stop right there you yep. uh, know they yeah. had a thing where they're like name a video game title that refers to you and uh she said super hot <laughs> i was like no oh i also watched the super hot run that was a very fun run <laughs> I just love where it's all like frame perfect and like they need to be pointing at something perfectly or else it's all ruined. Like I love, I love speed runs. How long is a super hot speed run? I imagine it's less than an hour, right? Yeah. It's less, less than, than an hour. I think it's probably 30 less than 30 minutes. minutes. No, oh, okay. I don't think it's less than 30. Cause I recently beat super hot a few weeks ago, maybe like a month or go a month Did or two ago now. It? Yeah. I saw the credits and everything. Oh yeah. Did you shoot was yourself a, uh... in the head. One of the YouTubers yeah, that that watching, intense. Uh, Oni Plays, <laughs> he uh, put a video out when they were voting for the names of uh, Tifa. Yeah. So he he put a video out to name it Beefaroni. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure it ended up becoming Beefaroni. That's and gorgeous. what it was was a it was a 3D model of Crash Bandicoot and him <laughs> just voicing over it. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I put the link in the. I put both link because he did a video asking people, and then he did a video thanking people. Nice. 
I might actually watch that super hot run tonight, maybe before I go to bed then, because that sounds like a fun watch. Yeah, no, the, it's a good run. It's it. I just love it because it's so impressive. Like I tried to speed run Dishonored, and that shit's just so difficult. Oh, to boy, good luck with that. No, Dishonored is fun as hell. I I I got through the uh, like the intro part when you're like breaking out of prison and all that stuff, and uh, that shit's so much fun. But then once once they started doing the uh, like the precise blinking and all that stuff, I kind of fell off. Literally, because I kept falling off the fucking. Cliff. Yeah, one of the things that I didn't know was uh. For Portal 2, how they said uh, you can't crouch jump anymore. Oh, really? So there's a thing where it's like a it's like a little beam and it lifts you up. And if you crouch in that, the game gets like confused, and basically you can now just fly. <laughs> That's what I love about speedrunning games is they just break they them. just break it it's just it's fun to see them get broken fucking destroyed <laughs> like what was like there was else? one for uh donkey kong where it was a, a tilt glitch and what they do is basically make the char- character model a tilt and it's like their ba- their face is basically like in the ground like they're doing the michael jackson <laughs> lean but like almost touching the ground yeah and then there was another one i saw right before the earthbound run where you can like if you die on a set of stairs and then reset your game uh you just like there's no walls uh <laughs> so, so you can just walk through every wall like there's just you just keep walking around it's just like how is this a thing <laughs> how does that get programmed into a game <laughs> yeah if they just die on the stairs just let them yeah, walk so, through the walls <laughs> so let's really hope they don't die on the stairs am i right <laughs> Yeah, I think I the most memorable runs. game I've ever seen speedrun at a at a GDQ, which there are multiple ones every year. Yeah, there's summer games done quick and then awesome games done quick that's done in January. Yes. And I think it might have been the last one. I think it might have been during the last awesome games done quick. I saw don't it. Don't they Ed, also Ed have like, a, like an awful games done quick? No, they don't, I don't think. I, I think they might do that somewhere. Like having something like that where it was like terrible games that you really haven't even heard of like there's one like tiger <laughs> man you don't want to play yeah yeah i mean i wouldn't be surprised if they had that but yeah i saw i once saw them play uh, a runner do ed uh, like one of the one of the uh <laughs> the older uh ed and eddie games for like the ps2 days oh my speed God. run it was a really weird game to watch being played in general but watch it be speed run too <laughs> that's funny but with with i think with all the quick quickie gamey stuff that we just talked about we should quickly end the show unless you guys have something else you wanted to bring up yeah i'm just gonna during agdq they do an awful games done quick segment so a block of games that are just terrible oh yeah but it's not a separate marathon okay but i think we should tell some people some dank music that they should listen to for the week yeah in addition to jessica's complaint about uh the Shit being not not being in the description, uh, the link still doesn't work. <laughs> what link? To the Spotify playlist. Well, that's on Org. Org manages that. All right, I'm just fucking saying it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start off with uh, "Smoke Rings" by the Dirty Heads. It's one of my weed songs. I don't even have mine ready, so try weed like 420. You don't. You don't even smoke, Liam. Yeah, but I like weed songs. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with nine one one slash Mr. Lonely from Tyler the Creator. Noise. Is this new album that hasn't come out yet? Oh shit! You pirate. It's a lead track. Yeah, well, he has like two songs on Spotify. And then it all comes down to Gizzle. I've been I really haven't been even listening to a lot of music lately, to be quite honest. So What a fucking terrible host. <laughs> yeah. You're not wrong. Have I ever put anything from the postal service on the music uh, on oh, the on do the music it. list? <laughs> fucking do it. I think I might have, but Just I'm going to do it. recommend another song from them if I've ever done one before. And I think you people should you people, to... hold up. Who are you talking to? Yeah, who are you talking Jessica, to? Jessica, usually. You referring, are you referring to my race? Yeah. 
As uh, the only black one here, I don't I mean Irish. You say that as, as the only Irish person here, <laughs> the only full white person here. <laughs> I feel like I might have recommended this song before. Was the it, where, full... that AGD, uh, GDQ one time? Yeah, he was. Uh, he did. Uh, I want to beat the Bashi. He used to do it more often. Uh, he apparently he's trying to do it for uh, AGDQ this year, or mm-hmm. next year technically. I fucking love Whitwicks. <laughs> yeah, this one I know I haven't done. So actually, I'm gonna recommend a song called "One Great City" by a band called The Weatherkins, or The Weaker Thans. I always say that wrong. <laughs> well, sounds lame. Yeah, sounds it's pretty, a pretty bad. Yeah. It's, it's a it's a pretty dope song if you hate where you live. No, uh, you hate Polanyi. <laughs> yeah, me and Trey both hate the town we live in currently. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> I hated the town I used to live in so bad I moved. But um, that wasn't up to you. That was up to your family. Yes, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> where did you used to live? I used to live in Boop. Now I live in Boop. <laughs> Save right. me some time. <laughs> Well you, well, you can say where you used to live because you don't live there anymore. Yeah, but I live like 20 minutes away. Oh. <laughs> and people well, I know live there. All right, guys, it's near New York. That's all we need to Yeah, know. I live a decent amount of distance away from New York City. And I think me and, uh, what's called, Warwick have mentioned that we live in Westchester County. So, there you go. Oh, boy, I can't I'm wait to visit. You're either going to find the Too Soon crew in, uh, in Westchester. Too crew. Or... Or you're going to find the X-Men. Either one. <laughs> the X-Men. Yeah, because apparently the X-Men are here, too. Which mm-hmm. ones? All of them. Xavier's that's Mansion, the comics, is in that county. That's I, that's I what I refer to. Like California or some shit. Nah, because only smart people So wait, what are we going to do when we visit? New York. Like, what are the main spots we're going to hit? I don't fucking know. Uh, you guys said you wanted mansion. to go, like, the Statue of Liberty and shit, and it's like... Yeah, not, I want, yeah not like, we winter. want you to treat us like tourists, like, of course. Are you fucking kidding me? You know how cold it is? And not not to, let, nah, not to mention, we have to fucking go on a ferry in the middle yes. of the goddamn... We, we have never Hudson done River. any of that stuff, so... Right. No, well, then, thank if you, you want, you can always take us to just places close. We'll, we'll bring you to the no. city. We're not yeah. going to the fucking Statue of Liberty. I'll kill you that much. At least, we at least want to see it from a distance. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll walk by it. We'll be like, hey, there's the Statue of Liberty. All right, let's keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> take us to them retro game shops, dog. I know you got I some. Even, I don't even know where any retro game I shops believe, are. Isn't there a Pokemon Center in yeah, Times Square? Times Square. All right, we're going yeah. there. I want right. to buy overpriced Pokemon merchandise. Korean barbecue. I want to try that. All right. uh, don't you, you? I can imagine you have Korean barbecue in Florida. No. <laughs> All right. Try, try. But Liam, I feel like you need to tell people where they can uh, stay up to date with all the hot Korean barbecue spots. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Yelp. Yelp is keep a great place to, to keep date up with to those date hot with, Koreans. Uh, all right. Korean barbecue. Or <laughs> where else? But if you want to listen to the podcast, we are on TuneIn, a Stitcher, uh, Libsyn, Google Play, iTunes, all the best places for listening to podcasts. Not Spotify. Not Spotify. Fuck you, Spotify. You you guys don't have 444, which pisses me off. Um, <laughs> and then if you want to listen to us as well, you can listen to us on YouTube, where we have a nice little graphic that goes on, and you can look at that for almost an hour most of the time probably over an hour uh and then if you want to get in contact with us we are easily accessible by email on the too soon crew at gmail.com and we are also on twitter and facebook at too soon podcast yeah and and if you want you do any of those things and you let us know directly we'll read your messages and whatever yeah, else you if say you want to ask the me show. a question i'll i'll answer it on the show and also if you want to tell me hey don't use this uh, form of uh, social media. Use this form of social media. I'll do it because any kind of fan interaction is better than no fan interaction. And right now, I'm at no fan interaction. So, please. Are you okay, no, Trey? Keep talking, please. <laughs> but with the sound of one of my good friends uh, pleasuring Doing something, your ears... <laughs> And himself potentially. I'm hitting a spoon with my hand. <laughs> Rumor has it he once used that same spoon to smack Jello. Yeah. Yep. He did do that, and it made my girlfriend. It gag. was quite exhilarating. <laughs> so you're saying Trey made your girlfriend gag? 
Yeah, Trey made my girlfriend gag. It's not the first, nor will it be the last. Oh. That might be a good episode title. No, it will not be that. Tell her I'm bringing that jello. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have access to the YouTube channel and the Libsyn. It will be changed. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for listening to episode 14 of the Too Soon Podcast. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>